السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس دس از سائرا واسف فرام مو لائٹ پبلشرس آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن اینڈ انجوائنگ اور ڈیجیٹل لیکچرس ویل مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس کائنڈلی اوپن گریٹ ون انگلش ٹیکسٹ بک ڈیولپ بائی مو لائٹ پبلشرس یونٹ نمبر ٹو از اباؤٹ دا ہولی رسول صلی اللہ علیہ و علیہ وسلم Before starting our today's lecture, I just want all of you to look at the picture on page number 26. I am showing this picture on the screen as well. Now you have to tell me that what is this picture about? Obviously, this is a picture of a mosque or a masjid. But now you have to tell me what is a masjid and why we go to the masjid. Obviously, Masjid is a place where we perform our prayers and we go to masjid because we have to offer our prayers and in this way we thank to Allah the Almighty. Let's move to the text. But before starting it, I just want to ask you, do you know who is Holy Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Wasallam? And yes, obviously everyone knows about him. You all know that Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam is the last Rasul of Muslim Ummah. He was born in Rabiul Awal. His father name is Hazrat Abdullah. But when Holy Prophet was born, Hazrat Abdullah was already died. So that's why Hazrat Abdul Muttalib, the grandfather of Holy Prophet, had brought him up. After the death of Hazrat Abdul Muttalib, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam was brought up by his uncle Hazrat Abu Talib. In this chapter, we will further read that Holy Prophet was very kind not only with the elders but the children as well. We will also read an incident about this. Now it's time to start our reading session but before starting it I just want to tell you how we can improve our reading. While reading whenever we encounter full stop over there we have to pause. There should be an interval and if we encounter a coma while reading we have to just pause over there. While reading, we have to just raise our voice in some places and we have to just slow down our voice in some places. Now I am going to read, listen the passage carefully because after that we have to answer the question given in our exercise. Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wa sallam is the last Rasul of Allah. He was born in Makkah in Rabi Lawal 571 AD. His mother's name is Hazrat Amina. His father's name is Hazrat Abdullah. He sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam was brought up first by his grandfather Hazrat Abdul Muttalib and then by his uncle Hazrat Abu Talib. Our Rasul sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam was very kind to children. He sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam gave them fruit. He sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam treated them with love. Here is an incident that shows Hazrat Muhammad's love for children. The Holy Rasul used to lead prayer in Masjid Nabwi. Once he was in prostration, means sajda, that his grandson Hazrat Imam Hussain Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu climbed on his back. He sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam was so loving and caring that he sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam prolonged his prostration. I know that you already know about Holy Rasul but from this text you have got more information about this Holy Personality. Now it's time to move towards our critical thinking session. We have been given some questions on page number 29 and you all are going to find out the answers from the text. Our first question is, what is the name of the last Rasul sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam? The answer is in the first paragraph of the text. To find the answer, obviously the name of the last Rasul is Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam. Our next question is, 
who brought up Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam after the death of his grandfather so the answer is in the first paragraph of the text and obviously after the death of his grandfather Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was brought up by his uncle Hazrat Abu Talib Let's move to the next question. What do you learn after reading the incidents in the lesson? So what have you learned from this? I have learned that Holy Prophet was very kind with the children. He never scolds them. He always treats them nicely. Obviously, you all have learned this thing from this incidents as well. And our last question is mention some of the qualities of hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam so in short we can say that there are many qualities in our holy rasul sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam but you are going to mention the qualities which are indicated in this chapter from this chapter we have come to know that holy prophet was very kind and humble with the children he never scolds them he always treats them politely he was so loving and caring towards the children now we are going to think critically because we have been given a question and after that there are two options which we are going to answer after recalling the text where was the holy rasul sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam leading the prayer when his grandson climbed on his back so just recall the text tell the correct answer the first option is kaaba or masjid e nabawi and the answer is obviously b it's masjid e nabawi let's move to the next mcqs hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was born in the first option is makka or medina and yes students holy rasul sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam was born in makka no doubt His house is in Medina. Our last entry uses who was Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam's uncle, Hazrat Abdul Muttalib or Hazrat Abu Talib. Obviously, we all know that Hazrat Abdul Muttalib is the grandfather of Holy Prophet, and Hazrat Abu Talib is the uncle. of holy prophet and now students it's time to move towards our second category and that is language focus that's on page number 29 there are some words and we are going to learn the meanings of that words the first word is honest it doesn't pronounce like honest h is silent in this word so we'll say honest and the meaning of the word honest is fair in dealing or trustworthy Second word is rasul and the meaning of rasul is the messenger of allah or a prophet the last word is bring up and bring up means look after or to raise a child and yes students on page number 30 you have been given some words i am going to read that words but this is your task that you are going to trace that words while re reading that words and the words are born prophet honest and brought up let's move to the next question you have been given some words on your book but these words are not completed now you are going to pronounce that words and after that you are going to infer that which word you are going to put in the blank to complete the word the first word is u n dash l e The word is uncle. K word is coming, so that is C. U N C L E. It means uncle. Next word is M A K dash A H. This is actually the word Makkah, and obviously K is missing in it. So you are going to complete this word by putting the letter K in the blank. The next word is kind. K dash and D, so it's I over there. Children, C H I L, children. Obviously, D is going to fill this blank. The last word is grandfather. So the father spellings are complete. Grand, 
obviously d is missing over there now we are going to move towards the second category of language focus and that is learning to spell you have been given some sight words and below them there are some boxes you are going to fill that boxes accordingly the first word is by was is up and first i hope you all have understood very well about the text and the language focus now it's time to say allah hafiz to all of you i will meet you in my next video and in that video we'll be talking about the grammar competency and the writing competency of this unit till then just take care allah hafiz